15 miles from downtown Atlanta. Welcome to Truist Park. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Texas Rangers going up against the Atlanta Braves. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Here's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Next offering way off the plate. And a pitch. This one smacked out to left center. Grabs it on the run. And there's one down. Now it's Corey Seager. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Out of here. A gigantic blast. It's 1 0. Now the left fielder, Evan Carter. One out, base is empty, and a run in. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. The punch out there, that's the second out. Up next for the Rangers, Adolis Garcia. A little bit high, two and one. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. pitch swing and a miss and that's strike two oh well, that's that slurp right there he threw it extremely well talk about just a ton of breaks so tough to get that barrel to two outs base is empty and another ball the right hander gives up the two out walk now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Here's Josh Young. Ground ball, Olsen. He He's takes out. it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And we're back. And now the right fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. And now two balls and a strike. Hard hit, left side. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Here is Ozzy Albies up to him. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. Got him looking. And there's one down. Here's Austin Riley. Kicks and fires. Hit on the ground might be two. Simeon over to second. On to Walsh. That's two. Back at Truist Park. Now it's the DH. Wyatt Langford. Wouldn't All chase good. that time. And that's in the dirt. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. That one out to right. Acuna after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. 
And there's one away. So next to hit for Texas, Jonah Heim. That one's in there. One and two. Swung on, belted. That one carrying. Out of here. A massive home run. And they tack on to their lead. It's 2 0. One out, base is empty. And now here is Jared Walsh. So a foul ball makes it 1 and 2. One out, base is empty. Fouls it off, still 1 and 2. The line of the pitch. Yeah, there's a ball. It's a good take. And that one is lifted in the air. And there are two outs. Here's Leody Tavares. Righty delivers. Fastball in for a strike. And it's one and two. Two down, base is empty, but one run across here at the top of the second. Fights that one away, still one and two. Hey. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And that is that. Welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the second. Here is Matt Olson. Olson checks his swing. Appeal down to third. No swing. Kenny Jansen with the call. In there at the knees. Two balls, two strikes. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Man at second. That's a strike. here as he fouls it away. The one-two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Right-hander kicks, deals. Foul ball still, one and two count. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Bottom half of inning number two. That misses the zone, and the count is even, two and two. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Here's a 2-2. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Now in for the Braves, Michael Harris. And a foul ball. And it's even up. One out and a runner at second. Left hand batter waits. Hit on the ground to the right side. And it goes just foul. And the right hander deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Off the 
late, they'll do it again. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you gotta love this battle. Just wondering who's gonna blink first. 2-2 now. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. Got him swinging. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. Late on that fastball. One ball, two strikes. Second two down. Three. Sit down on strikes. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. Back here in Atlanta, all set for the start of the inning. And now it's the Rangers' leadoff hitter, Marcus Simeon. Swing and a ball popped up. Olsen settles under it. Makes the catch for the out. And here's Corey Seeker to hit. The shortstop takes the ball. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And he deals. That no. one misses. And that's ball three. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Outside, and that is ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And that one lifted in the air center field. Puts it away for the out. And now it's going to be Adolis Garcia. And now two and one. Seeger off of first with two away. Way outside, three and one. And that's ball four. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. So two on with two away. Josh Young stepping in for the Rangers. Foul ball there. Two on, two outs. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. And we're back. Bottom of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Jared Kelman. Pitches in the dirt. Right. Ball two. And the righty deals. That ball misses. Three. And that's ball three. Three ball, one three. Right through there for a strike. Three-one count. Saying himself, I've got to get a fastball here. Just spins a get-me-over breaking ball. 
Four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Here's Orlando Arcia. Nope, at the ball. That misses the zone, two and one. The pitch. The Rangers up by two here in the last half of the third. Here comes a pitch. Roll to short, could be two. Sends it across the first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. And he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost like he didn't get pitch recognition. And trying to slow his back down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and putting it in play. Have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. Man at second. Struck him out swinging. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. The 1-1. One -one. And another ball. And that one missing low. Three ball, one strike. Fouls one away and now three and two. Two outs. On the ground, right side. Simeon, toss over to first. That's out number three. As we go to the top of the fourth, now here's the Rangers, D.H. Wyatt Langford. Swing and a miss. And a count one, one and two. Ball. It's pitching two well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Kicks and fires. And that's outside. And it's two and two. Bounce to the left side. And that's just foul. Two two now. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a pitch. Foul off again, and it remains three and two. In the air, out towards right center. Acuna sizes this one up, hauls it in, and there's one away. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. That one fouled off, two and two. One down, base is empty. Right side, Acuna there. Hauls it in for the out. And there's two away. Jared Walsh stepping in for the Rangers. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Arcia whips oh. it to first, and that is the inning. Bottom four, here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. Gets through. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Here's Matt Olson. The 1-1. One -one. On a line. Brings it in. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. And that one is lifted in the air. 
Garcia makes the catch. Two down. And next for Atlanta, Michael Harris. Ball to strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. It's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. It usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Swing and he breaks his bat. Seeger on the run, throw to first. On target. He got him. Nice play. We go to the top of the fifth. Now, Leody Tavares. A big swing and a miss. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Three and two now. Three. Got him. One away. Now it's Marcus Simeon. The wide to kick the pitch. Yeah, he chases that one below the zone. <laughs> Tapped softly on the ground. Riley tosses to first. Two up, two down. Seeger stands in now. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The shortstop takes the ball. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. That misses all three. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming off if he's wall. Struck him out looking. We head to the bottom of the fifth. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Travis Darno. That one misses, and a count is three and one. You know, these Braves showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but so far he's been really effective in this hey. one. That's in there, and the count's you. full. You know, sometimes it just takes getting to the bullpen in order to be able to score runs, and that might be the case today. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Here's Jerry Kelvin. And fouled off. And that's the first out. Here's the shortstop at the play. Orlando Arcia. And a pitch. Tied him up inside with that one. Tired or not, he's relentless with the way he pitches. He might be exhausted out there, but his stuff is still nasty. One, two. We'll chase that time. The Rangers leading by two. Last half of inning number five. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Carter makes the play. Oh, the throw is over his head. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. And a pitch. Ripped on a line. And a base hit. Darno around second on his way to third. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. 
Recognized the break on that pitch early, and that allowed him to keep his front shoulder in. You know, it's easy to bail on those front door breaking balls, but a great job right there of letting it travel, then unloading a nice balanced swing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Next to hit, Ozzy Albies. And a strike. and misses it's a strikeout we're back and they make a change to start the sixth the new pitcher Pierce Johnson he has a great slider with tons of movement Evan Carter getting ready to hit. Kicks and deals. And yep, that's outside. That and that's ball three. Well, these Rangers putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. I got him looking. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Next up for Texas, Adolis Garcia. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. So digging in, Josh Young. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. And another ball. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And that's in the dirt. Counts full three and two. Two outs. And they'll do it again. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And it's a three up, three down inning. Back at Truist Park, bottom of the six. Now in for the Braves, Austin Riley. Out to short, Seeger. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. The Braves trailing by two here in the bottom of the sixth. Good eye right there. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. Painting corners, working on the edges and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Good oh, plate oh, appearance there. Me. Able to take the walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Yeri Rodriguez comes on now. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves. Righty delivers. Olsen, the base runner at first with one out. It misses. It's a strikeout. And now the center fielder, Michael Harris. That's in there. Now one and two. The pitch. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it.
we go to the top of the seventh and now the DH Wyatt Lankford 1-1 one, one now swings through the fastball up in the zone one ball two straight Misses and now three and two. Outside and that is ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Next to hit, Jonah Heim. The 2 2 on the way. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And here it comes. Okay. That one is upstairs. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Got it. Looking for the K. New pitcher for the Braves, Dylan Lee. And they felt it was time to bring on a left handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Now it's going to be Jared Walsh. Two two. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. He leaves the yard to right. It's 4 nothing. Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Laoti Tavares. Jack Swing went around. And it's 1-2. One and that's outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. One down, base is empty. And a base hit. Here is Marcus Simeon. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. One -one. And another ball. It's under and pops it up. Olsen moving under this one. He's got it. And there's two away. So now it's Corey Seager. Step off, throw to first. Back in there standing. Two runs across in the inning. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Runner on the go. Pitch misses inside. Throw to second. He's safe. High leg kick hangs in the air, but he read it nicely, and now in scoring position to add on to this lead. Right side. Olsen steps out of the bag. They limit the damage here. Welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the last half of the seventh. Stepping in, Travis Dardo to the right side. And that one handled. And the leadoff oh. hitter set down to open the seventh. Digging in, Jared Kellner. 
That one misses, and a count two and one. They've got a potent lineup, and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. The Braves down by four here at the bottom of the seventh. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Two balls, two strikes. And that's down and away. Fights it off, you'll see another. Riding to the plate. And down on strikes. And now two gone. Orlando Arcia, the next to hit. The wind of the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two down, nobody on. That one to first, Walsh. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth, Tyler Matson. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Now the left fielder, Evan Carter. Ball to strike. The pitch. And that one fouled off. One, two now. Swing and a miss struck him out. Next to bat, the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. The pitch. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. At the belt and fires. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses, struck him out. Now the third baseman, Josh Young. pitch not three close balls. with that one and now three balls and a strike and yeah, there's ball four pretty easy walk right there last pitch wasn't even much to think about next is the designated hitter Wyatt Lankford two outs Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. <laughs> and now the lefty. And another ball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. And ball four to a board. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Now, here is Jonah Heim. Swing and a miss at one above the zone. Two outs, and now two and two. Now this is in the air down the line. Acuna has it sized up, and that is that. And we're back out uh, of the bottom of the eighth. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Ronald Acuna Jr. Can't run it cleanly, but he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. 
And next for Atlanta, Ozzie Albies upstairs. Next offering is in for a strike. Spoils a two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. Two away. Austin Riley will hit next. Good oh, eye on that spot. Yeah, the right hander deals. In the air out to center. Tavares settles under it. And the inning is over. Back, it's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Aaron Bummer. So digging in, Jared Walsh. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Still able to get it there in time. And they come away with an out after a tricky start to the play. And now, Leody Tavares. And it's fouled away. That one almost got him. And that just misses. Payoff pitch. Got him swinging. So next to hit for Texas, Marcus Simeon. Bomber deals. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Two strikes. And a pitch. Way high there. The count now two and two. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back here in Atlanta. And here's the first baseman, Matt Olson. Swings and misses. And it's three and two. Three and two. Stays alive. Left hand batter waits. Got him looking. Strike three called on a slider at the knees. Now it's the DH, Marcelo Zuna. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strike. One, two now. Look out! And it hit him. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. One down. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Michael Harris. On the ground, could be two. To second, there's one. The double play ends it right here. A little sigh of relief for the pitcher there, ending the ball game with a nice double play. You always love when you can get two for one, especially when it wraps up the ball game. Nice win for this team today. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shopping. Thanks for joining us.
ステーション。